Hello electric car lovers! In this channel I cover all the latest tech news surrounding electric cars. I cover the background, feel and drive, the current selling price and the specs and engineering that go into making each car. If you have an electric car that you'd like me to cover, let me know in the comments below. In today's video, I'm reviewing the upcoming and promising Hyundai Ioniq 5. I'll be covering the most important features to see whether it'll crush the competition or not. Oh, and one more thing before I start, what's an electrician's favorite car? A Volkswagen. Okay, now back to the video. Did you know currently, Hyundai controls 33.88% of Kia's corporation and is the sole owner of two brands, Genesis Motor, a premium automotive subsidiary, and Ionic, an electric vehicle sub-brand. The Hyundai Motor Group is made up of these three brands. The third 100% electric car of the brand after the Ionic and Kona, the Ionic 5 is a compact crossover built on an unprecedented platform. From the Hyundai 45 concept revealed in 2019, the Ionic 5 may resemble a 1980s hot hatch with a dash of concept vehicle and a dash of DeLorean, but it's actually Hyundai's first fully customized EV. Their target? Sidestep Tesla. Mug the VW ID series and launch the Ionic EV family on the road to global dominance. Isn't it true, though, that Hyundai has previously produced electric vehicles? Right, the previous Ionic and current Kona Electric are both incredibly nice in an average, inoffensive sort of manner, proving that it's capable of making some truly excellent and deserving electric automobiles. Hyundai has transferred what it learned with those cars to a new chassis developed particularly for battery-powered vehicles and clothed it with its most ambitious design yet. It is EGMP which stands for Electric Global Modular Platform. There's a lot of stuff to take in when it comes to the concept itself. Since 2016, Ionic has been the moniker of Hyundai's Volkswagen Golf Sides Liftback, which is known for being the world's first hybrid, plug-in hybrid, and electric vehicle. That car will not be replaced after its life cycle finishes, and Ionic will become an EV sub-brand with a more premium character and pricing than anything we've seen from Hyundai so far. In 2022, Hyundai will release the Ionic 6, a mid-sized saloon, and in 2024, the Ionic 7, a huge SUV. All three will be based on Hyundai's new eGMP electric vehicle platform, which has super-fast 800-volt charging and the mass market's first integrated drive axle, which combines the drive shafts and wheel bearings for improved ride comfort and handling stability. In terms of competitiveness, the Ionic 5 is aimed squarely at Volkswagen's ID4. While Hyundai executives claim that the electric vehicle market is still so young and fragmented that their car could take sales from everything from the Nissan Leaf to the Tesla Model S, the Ionic 5 was announced in January 2021 and officially presented on February 23, 2021. The manufacturer presented it as a CUV for compact crossover utility vehicle. Design and Engineering Quoting Hyundai's description of the design of the car, inspired by the future, past and present, confidently sporting clean, sharp lines throughout its electric SUV body, the all-new Ionic 5 is undeniably distinct and modern. I won't go into depth about building quality because there are only prototypes available. The finished car you'll buy will include trim made from recycled plastic bottles, plant-based fibers, and eco-friendly paint. It has an angular shape appearance. The Ionic 5's new platform is ideal for the current EV brief. The wheelbase is longer than that of a BMW 5 Series at 3.0 meters, and the bodywork overhangs are small. The Ionic 5 may appear to be a regular hatchback. The Giugiaro style forward leading C pillar and fierce clamshell nose date back to the class's conception, but it's a far bigger beast than the Golf. Its length of 4,735 mm brings it closer to the BMW X3 SUV, and its 3 meter wheelbase outperforms even the X5. Even before you notice the insane riffling on the wheel arch cladding, the fabulously 8 bit LED matrix light with their 256 cubic pixels, or the Zorro slash that gives the car's flanks an arresting origami-like quality, all of which are carried over from the 45 concept from the 2019 Frankfurt Motor Show. It's the stature that makes for the sleek look. Interior 
because the batteries are buried beneath the passenger compartment to keep the vehicle's center of gravity under control. A ruby cabin with a flat floor is expected, and because the wheelbase is so long, there's already enough space for batteries. The front boot has a small 57-liter carry cot that's just big enough to fit a charging cord, but it'll mostly be stored beneath the back boot floor in a shallow but functional storage tray. However, you do get a true five-seater as well as a substantial cargo area of 531 liters because there are no transmission tubes to trip over. The doors open wide and clambering in and out is a snap. Once you're inside, the Ionic 5's interior shape shifts to meet your needs. The center console slides 140 millimeters forward and back, giving you more convenient charging connections or extra leg room for your screen zombie youngsters to lose sweeties in. Hyundai nicknamed this feature the Universal Island since it was clearly too realistic. The Ionic 5's lounge-like attractiveness is enhanced by extensive ambient lighting on the doors and dash, and the graphite effect trim inlays in the doors look fantastic, even if they're just plastic inserts. After the island has undergone some seismic movements towards the back, the driver may exit the passenger door, useful if you're parked on a narrow street, or got trapped sideways in a ditch. It's clear that this is going to be a car that prioritizes technological comfort from the touch-sensitive climate control panel to the bright, crisp displays and the magnetic panel to the side of the 12.3-inch twin-screen multiplex where you can stick notes and photos of your favorite pet, child, or Cold War fighter jet. It can mask all the modern Silicon Valley-based mobile coffee stores. Performance However, like the Honda E, this is an EV that you will buy mostly for its looks. Only here, when you've fallen for the looks, you won't have to make any justifications or compromises. The rear drive motor with 123 kW of power is standard. A dual motor, 4x4 setup, which slightly over 223 kW will also be available. The most long range Ionic 5 will of course have an RWD chassis to match the larger battery. The automobile will really drive itself, when empty, out of small garages owning to the button on the key. All you have to do is call it from a safe distance and watch as it crawls closer to you like a frightened forest creature. You've seen lots of ordinary hatchbacks masquerading as SUVs. The Ionic 5 is a polar opposite of the Ionic 4. In a car that resembles a bulky hatchback, it boasts a dominating driving stance. The Ionic's 2020 kg curb weight is masked by all-wheel drive and 443 pounds-feet of torque making it a serious piece of A-road overtaking equipment. It's quick, but it slows down at 80 miles per hour. There's no noticeable motor whining, and despite the lack of rear-view cameras, Hyundai promises that wind noise will be kept to a minimum. It also promises agility, but I'm sure the Ionic 5's weight and overall lack of athleticism will catch up with it. This isn't a car that seeks out corners. It's a car that handles them well and goes about its business. Here are some of my favorite features of the Ionic 5. Some automobiles make the claim that they improve the world by making all excursions within them thrilling expeditions of discovery and amazement. This is simply absurd. Hyundai seems to be saying something like, look, we understand. Traveling by car is tedious and frustrating. In box halls, there are roadworks, traffic bottlenecks, speed bumps, and middle lane hoggers. Even in a boring average speed camera zone, there's an Audi Q7 so near to your rear bumper that he can read what radio station you're listening to. As a result, Hyundai has created an electric vehicle that aims to alleviate all of this. It's made to be comfy, simple to use, and not overly athletic. The Ionic 5 appears to be an EV designed for the sometimes vexing reality we live in, rather than the ideal society which we wished we lived in. Battery Life a 54 kWh battery will be included in the basic model. If you want additional range, you can upgrade to a 72 kWh battery, which will give you a stated WLTP range of roughly 290 miles. The real-world range will be determined by the number of motors you have. Until today, Porsche's Taycan was the only electric vehicle with a 800 volt charging capacity, which entails heavy-duty electrical architecture beneath the skin that allows energy to drain down like a fire hose into a paddling pool. Hyundai, on the other hand, have crammed the same technology into the Ionic 5. With that result, you can see how charged from practically empty to 80% charging in just 18 minutes using a 350kW quick charger. Do you have only 5 minutes for a pit stop? Even then, you'll still get 62 miles from the recharge. In alternating current, the Ionic 5 offers a charging power of up to 11kW. 
Keep in mind that the top of the range executive finish also benefits from an option called V2L. This allows you to benefit from an additional 220 volt socket for recharging or powering small equipment using the car battery. Charged as an option, the photovoltaic roof allows you to benefit from solar energy to recharge the car. According to Hyundai, the device could make it possible to travel 2,000 kilometers per year. Price and model range. Hyundai hasn't disclosed how much the next Ioniq 5 will cost, but it has stated that it will be on sale in the fall of 2021. We expect the Ioniq 5 will start at around $45,000 based on the current Hyundai Kona electric starting price of around $38,000. This wraps up my review of the new Hyundai Ioniq 5. Let me know what you think of it. Thank you for sticking it out through the very end of this video. Nothing helps out my channel more than y'all watching the entire video. These videos take a lot of time to make and are a labor of love. If you'd like to see my channel grow, please help spread the word. And until next time, remember, the best experiences aren't about where you end up, but who you're lucky enough to be on the journey with.